Hey guys, I'm back again with a brand new video for you all. This time I brought you my battles from Ultra League with a team composition between uh, Charizard and Dragonite Double Flyers and I've paired them with Ampharos. Now I want to warn you that this team is extremely weak against things like Steelix in the Ultra League but there are very less Steelix especially after that nerf of the move uh, Breaking Swipe. So there are less Steelix and it's also weak against uh, things like Galarian Stunfish but we can take that risk and yeah so let's start the video moving on to the first battle here we land into a empoleon lead now this is uh, not the greatest lead for us because it's resisting our dragon moves and we need to land the superpower in order to win this game here and they're going for the drill pick and i don't decide to shield it we can tank that and okay i go for the bait here let's see if they decide to shield it or not and they shield it which is very good for us and i went for another dragon claw there hoping that they would shield this again and they did shield it which is excellent for us now they are down two shields and we're up two shields here definitely i need to come here with ampharos knowing that we can survive one move whatever they throw we can tank one move with uh, yeah comfortably and i go for the brutal swing here they swap into their giratina saving their empoleon and i throw one brutal swing here and i go f uh, with my charizard and i know that this is not ancient power this was just five or i don't know f five or six uh, shadow claws and i go straight for the dragon claw in the cmp here now this was uh, CMP, so we know that this is a Dragon Claw again. So I think we shield once. Okay, we don't shield it. Interesting. Okay, we shield it. <laughs> okay, no matter. So we reach to the Dragon Claw, but we don't throw it. We uh, we were actually trying to farm this Giratina all the way down, but they don't let us farm them down, and they come in with their Tentacruel. So I throw my Blast Burn here, and I go f go with my uh, Ampharos. As our switch clock was out, so before they make any move, I throw my Thunder Punch to take them out. I didn't want it to risk anything in this game. So yeah, let's see what they decided to do. They decided to come in with their Giratina and Shadow Claws down, but they could not. They threw their move. Now we've got a Thunder Punch store and we can comfortably throw this Thunder Punch against this Empoleon and take the victory there. So that's W for us. And yeah, moving on to the next game here. It's a Virizion lead. This is a good lead for us, but we need to watch out for that Stone Age. And we let them throw the Stone Age. I guess, well, okay, we let them build to the Stone Age and we don't shield here. Oh my gosh, look at that damage. It almost took us out. Now, we throw the Dragon Claw here and they decide to shield it. Now, okay, so they've got a Stone Age. I decided to come in here with my Charizard and shield once, obviously, and farm them all the way down. Now, they will not be able to reach any of the move here. Now, we've got a Blast Burn store here, so they come in with their Giratina. We farm a lot of energy, and they reach to their move here. We store double Blast Burn into our Charizard, and we don't throw the move and go to our Ampharos, and they're not swapping out. So I was guessing that they might be weak against Ampharos at the back. And I farm extra voltage and then throw my Brutal Swing here. So let's see. They still got one shield and they're not shielding it. And we can still tank one. Yeah, we can still tank one move here. Dragon Claw and we reach to the Brutal Swing here. We throw the Brutal Swing. Let's see if they decide to shield it or not. And they let it go. So... And they have the Skeletor Judge at the back and we reach to the Brutal Swing here, surviving their two incinerates. Now, okay, uh, I think we swapped there, right? Then, yeah, I have two Blast Burns stored and still got a shield here, so we're looking pretty good here. This is a disarming voice. Now, I farm up to two more wing attacks because we know we'll win the CMP here. And they're still not into their second move, so we take the victory there. Moving on to the next battle. It's a Talonflame lead against my Dragonite, which is really good for us. We just need to, I guess, shield one fly here. 
and yeah i throw the dragon claw in a cmp tie we know we can win the cmp against talonflame anytime with our dragonite and they throw the brave bird it was a brave bird and they come in with their greninja okay greninja is not an answer for our dragonite here so they threw the night slash and i farm a lot of energy here and then throw the dragon claw and they've got the night slash stored and we cast the night slash into our ampharos hydro cannon against ampharos does more damage than night slash does okay so one more volt switch will take them out they got the unnecessary boost there and they come in back with their talent flame to take this damage and this tells me they're weak against ampharos at the back they might be running whole team weak against ampharos guys okay so they had scalar dirge another scalar dirge at the back we've got double brutal swing stored they've only thrown one incinerate now there's a second incinerate we can still charge one volt switch they will not reach to any move bef before three incinerates so this is third incinerate and i tried to catch i guess and i throw the dragon claw anyways so we've got a brutal swing stored into our uh, in our ampharos and they throw the move here which is really good for us and we will win the cmp against this thing one brutal swing will definitely knock uh scalar dodge out so yeah they only got a talent flame and we didn't even need to bring our charizard back and one thing is that you uh you can try this team because this team is easy to build team uh the only legacy thing here is wing attack and blast burn that is for charizard okay this okay i uh it was a glaring wheezing lead and i safe swap into my charizard which didn't turn out to be safe because they came back with they came in with their swamp herd and i tanked the hydro cannon here they farmed too much shots now they're one uh, shield down They've got a lot of health in their swamp part. I come in with my Dragon Knight, and uh, yeah, we will eat one uh, Hydro Cannon with ease. And yeah, I try to so throw in the CMP because we know that we'll win the CMP against Swamp Earth. And this Dragon Claw will definitely take them out. And they come back with their Glare Weezing. And they are not swapping. So again, guys, Ampharos is so strong. I want to showcase the team composition between Charizard and Dragonite. And it turns out that Ampharos is the hero because Ampharos is so, so strong in the Ultra League meta, guys. It can beat all the Flyer Fires. It can beat the Flyers. It can also beat the uh, Dragonite. It can also beat uh, Giratina in some scenarios. And it's going to beat Polyrath. A lot of things so yeah they they had charizard at the back okay so they're farming the wing attack up to seven so i try to catch here let's see if we are successful here and I, we were successful to catch their blast burn here we had no shield here so this will take us out and one more wolf switch will reach the thunder punch to take this charizard out so if we hadn't made that catch we would have lost the game because one blast burn would have taken our ampharos out so one more voice which will take their wheezing out and we take the victory. Moving on to our another game here. Very, very bad lead for us. Clefable lead. We need to swap instantly here. I swapped into my Charizard and they come in with their Ronorigas. And we reach to the Blast Burn before they reach to their Shadow Ball. Let's see if they decide to throw the Shadow Ball or the other move. And let's see. I think this is a Shadow Ball okay we tank one shadow ball pretty comfortably there and we reach to the dragon claw here let's see if they decide to shield or not okay we were able to win the switch advantage there this is going to be very very huge and we reach to the blast burn with one hp this is going to be huge because it was cliffable into our dragonite lead and so i come in with my ampharos no time wasting here that is huge guys charizard stole the show so charizard is unforg uh, forgotten in the un ultra league but it's still awesome guys you guys need to try charizard in the ultra league and they definitely shield here and they're not swapping 
I'm shielding whatever they're throwing here. I'm shielding whatever they're throwing. We're already two shield down and I tried to farm them all the way down, but we were unable to do that and they reached to their move. But fortunate for us, it was Meteor Mash and they had a Gyarados at the back and one Thunder Punch is going to be enough. I've got two stored, one for the shield and one to take them out. So yeah, guys, Charizard and Ampharos saved the day for Dragonite. GG's to my opponent and yeah that is it guys please leave a like and comment if you like my content and please do subscribe guys thank you so much